my name is Barbs. Today we're going to take a deep dive in using our breath and poses. So I already talked about the importance of Ujjayi breathing, but the part I wanted to double click on is how to leverage your Ujjayi breath to get deeper into poses. Whenever you breathe, you're relaxing the front side of your body while engaging the back side of your body. So one way you can tell is if you make lobster fingers and put on your rib cage, take deep Ujjayi breaths here. When you breathe or when you inhale, your chest tilts slightly backwards and whenever you exhale and pull your navel to your spine, you're engaging your core. So because of that, when you exhale, you're providing a lot of stability in your core. So whenever you do moves where, for example, you're on the floor and you want to rise, pulling your navel to your uh, to your spine and doing on an exhale provides stability so you don't potentially hurt your back. That's why when you do chaturangas and or vinyasas and you're coming into down dog, that's why you're coming into it on an exhale. Because when you exhale and pull your navel to your spine, you're engaging your core. So you're lifting your hips using your core strength rather than your arm strength. So the next time you take vinyasas, try to remember doing it with your core rather than your arms. Also, whenever you inhale, you're finding length in your spine. When you find length in your spine, you're increasing the distance between each vertebrae. So because of that, you inhale to prepare for a lot of poses that require you to move your spine in different directions. For example, inhale, exhale, back bend. If you think about it, if your vertebrae is like this and you try to back bend, you're crunching, so you won't get as deep into it. But if you inhale and find length, then go into a back bend, you can get into it a little bit deeper. Or side bends. Inhale, find length, create the space in your vertebrae, then exhale, side bend. And then using your breath, you can get deeper. Inhale, find length. Exhale, engage your obliques to get deeper and deeper. This also works for twists as well. So if you're like this and you're twisting, you're not really getting as much of a twist. But if you inhale and find length, then twist. Because you're creating space, you can get deeper into the twist. So try to do it without using the inhale to prepare, then try doing it with using inhale. Inhale, then twist. By using the exhale as leverage, you're already engaging your core by pulling your navel to your spine. So that plus using the strength of your oblique to twist gets you even deeper and deeper into your spinal twist. For side bends, when you inhale and find length, imagine that you're rotating your ribcage a little bit more to the ceiling to create the space that way. But for twists, imagine that you're reaching the crown of your head towards the ceiling, then twisting. That's the one difference on using your breath when depending on what type of uh, spinal movement that you're trying to do. Lastly, using your breath also helps when you do transitions. When you brace your core or you provide stability, you there's less of a chance that you'll fall over. So for example, when you get into warrior three, let's say you're in chair. Inhale, find length. The exhale, hinge. Try doing that on an inhale. Because you're, the front side of your body is relaxed and you're hinging, you're going to end up being uh, less stable than if you do it on an exhale. Also, when you shift your gaze, it's also helpful to do it on your exhale for the stability. Let's say I'm in Vrkhasana. Whenever I move, currently I'm not really engaging my core, but I'm definitely sort of wobbly. But if I take an inhale to prepare, the exhale brace my core first, 
Then I twist. I'm definitely more stable. Try, try tr doing that without using your breath, then using your breath. It especially helps when you're doing balancing poses with one foot. That's why, for example, in dancer, you also inhale to lengthen and exhale to get deeper into your back bend. If you just do it, if you just kick into your hand to get deeper into the back bend without using your breath, one, you're not going to go as deep because you're not finding the space before you get into the back bend. But two, there's a, more of a chance that you'll fall out because when you're going through the movement to actually move in your body, you're not providing the stability that your body can use to get deeper into the pose. So that's it for getting deeper into your ujjayi breath. It's helpful to use it while you're moving, especially when you're moving your spine in various directions so you can create the space between your vertebrae to get deeper into your twists, side bends, or back bends. And especially helpful when you're transitioning into balancing poses because you're on one leg, so you need as much stability as you can, which your core can provide when you do it on an exhale. Thank you for watching.